Valamo was a single artist, but he also had a band called the Redcoats. He was one of the local stars down here, and then he became a worldwide star. I had some local hits in Florida. I had a song called Happy, a song called Big Bad Beulah, but I had a hit called Every Day I Have to Cry Some. It became a national hit. I've known Ted about 30 years. Ted sold me two or three cars. In fact, I assisted him in his first vocal endeavors. He sells cars, fixes cars, buys cars, a boxer maybe, wrestler maybe, comedian really maybe, can't sing. I had three or four bands and I was so popular that when I retired, nobody noticed. Do you know the song No Money Down by Chuck Berry? Yeah, sure. Check Do you really? Yeah. Recorded for Chess Records. Yeah. That was my label with Every Day After Cry Sound. Yeah. That was on Chess. Really? I used to see him in the office. I freaked out over him too. He's brilliant. Steve Alamo's been in Miami since the late 50s. He knows all about rock and roll. He's played with guys like Chuck Berry, Jerry Lee Lewis, Roy Orbison. He's got stories he can tell. I'm looking forward to uh, going around with Ted and him show me some of these cars. I own some of these cars, not these particular cars, but the vintage. I had a Mustang, I had a Maserati Bora, two or three Thunderbirds, and a Wrangler. I still have the Wrangler. It's 30 years old and I happened to buy it from Ted. I won in the deal, he always took care of me. I've been walking a lot with Steve Alamo, one of my idols. He was a you know, big star in the 60s and knows music, been in the music business for years. And I've been talking cars and music with him. It's been fantastic. There you go, Steve. Oh, oh, oh. GTO. <laughs> I hate to say I was around when these came out. What song yeah. does that car remind you of? Running the Daytonas. Little GTO? Little GTO. Wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, that's whoa. enough. <laughs> I love to see all these cars because I grew up with a lot of them. When I started driving cars, I had no idea. I would live long enough to see all of them sit in lots. Mustang Sally. Wow. The wicked Mr. Wilson Pickett. Wilson Pickett oh, was terrific. Is. But the car wasn't bad either. I had one of these Mustangs. Cars have changed through the years. Some things are exactly the same. They are improvements, obviously. But the style, they're so different. I think that's why there's a market for old cars and classic cars, it's because they have individuality. How about the 58 Bel Air? <laughs> with the uh, Continental with, with, Kit. Continental yeah. Kit. I'm talking, this is the 50s right here. This is definitely. I love this. Music and cars define time, define generations. Groups of us grew up with certain music. Can you equate that with the cars you drove? Steve Alamo has been a buddy of mine for some 30 odd years. We were reminiscing about cars and music and what cars go with which songs and he's an encyclopedia of rock and roll. Oh, this is a Little Deuce Coop here. There you go. Who is sang that? that? Little Deuce Coop, I think, was uh, Beach Boys, right? Right. Oh, look at that. Coop de Ville. As I was motivating over the hill, That's I saw right. a Maybelline in a Coop de Ville. There it is. Wow. Chuck Berry, the man. What a classic this is. Beach Boys and Chuck Berry probably have the record for songs about cars. It's funny how some artists always drew themselves to cars. Like the Beach Boys, Chuck Berry was big with it. And groups that named themselves after cars. All right. The Falcons, so fine. Yeah. Impala's, sorry I ran all the way home. Impala's an animal. Will you cut it out? It was great to see Ted, and it's great to see all these cars. These cars are great. Seeing Steve Alamo is the best. It's great, it makes a nice day. It's He's just such a quality human being. I love the guy.